Today we are going to be making a nice side for a weeknight dinner. We're going to take a head of cauliflower and a head of garlic. We're going to cut those up and put them in a bowl, separate the florets. We're going to put two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and mix those together. And then we're going to spread our garlic and our cauliflower florets out on a baking tray. We're also going to salt and pepper to taste. I'm using flake salt because it's fancy and I like it. You can use any kind of salt that you want. I just happen to have flake salt, so I used flake salt. So again, we're going to mix all this up and then we are going to spread it out onto a baking sheet. I have my uh, parchment paper covering my baking sheet and I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees and I'm going to roast my cauliflower and garlic for 25 minutes at 400 degrees. While my cauliflower and garlic are roasting, I'm going to heat a skillet with one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm gonna add eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. I'm gonna saute those until they are nice and brown. I'm going to also add in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Once our garlic and cauliflower is done roasting, and it is starting to brown up. I'm gonna add that in with my sauteed mushrooms. And again, I'm going to mix it all up so that all of the flavors incorporate. I'm going to again, salt and pepper because I like to do each level or each layer so that I have some depth of flavor. And then I'm going to continue heating it in my skillet for about three more minutes to allow all of the flavors to meld together. If you want to add extra protein to this and use it as a main dish, you can add some chicken to it. I'm also adding in a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes just to give it a little bit of a kick and continue heating it up again with the salt and pepper. And like I said, if you want it, you can use this as a side dish or if you wanna use it as like a bowl, you can add some steak bites or some chicken, grilled chicken to it and up that protein a little bit. This is keto friendly and I like eating it just like it is. You could have it um, a vegetarian meal you could also, if you were so inclined, just top it with a fried egg for protein. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that it adds a little bit of diversity to your weeknight dinners. Thanks for watching.